Back to the politicalization of the coronavirus, as we talked about uh, earlier, we've seen this in the debate. I want to bring in now Joe Pinion. He's a GOP strategist, Michael Gordon, back a Democratic strategist, former spokesperson for the Department of Justice. Um, we talked about this. Uh, Joe, I want to get your, your, your take on this. Obviously, this is a huge uh, effect here on the world as well, uh, the, the world stage. As far as making it... Uh, the politicizing of it, if you will. How do you how do you separate this? Well, look, I think number one, this is a threat that should be taken seriously. Um, I think you look at some of the the mortality rate here. Um, it, it's a serious problem that I think a lot of Americans are thinking about. My high school football coach called me last day and said, mm -hmm. "I've got 350 kids I'm supposed to take to you know Disney World in in a month. You know, do you think I should go?" As if somehow I have the answers. And um, but I think it it kind of it lends itself to talking about how seriously many Americans are taking this. Um, so when Democrats are sitting here, you know, banging on tables, I mean, I think Americans need to remember that they were the ones that wanted to have open borders for everybody, that are a come one, come all policy for the world. Um, and so I think, again, people need to be able to connect the thread to say that all of these issues that we've been talking about for the last four years, um, talking about border security, um, border security means national security, national security means public health. Um, all these issues are interconnected, um, and I think Americans are starting to kind of dawn on that reality a little late. Yeah, the Majority House Leader uh, Mitch McConnell spoke about this earlier, saying that uh, he, Trump, the administration, doesn't know what they're doing. Uh, Michael, what's your take on that? Yeah, I think that uh, Trump has come to the coronavirus too late, uh, or not, not, not too late to do anything, but too late to when the issue started percolating. Mm -hmm. You know, if you look back at how Obama hand, handled Ebola, uh, he appointed a task force, he appointed a czar, he got ahead of it very, very quickly. So uh, the president is speaking later today. Hopefully he will take some more concrete steps, show a sense of urgency around the issue, and show that, uh, you know, he made this comment that it'll go away in April. Well, it doesn't, things don't just necessarily go away on their own. You have to take some action to make them go away. So hopefully his, his comments later will be the beginning of making them go away. Well, I mean, I just think this. No president can make anything from the coronavirus go away to Ebola go away. Um, I think there has to be uh, caution taken to make sure we're not panicking the American people, but at the same time understanding that you know, people are taking the issue seriously. Um, so I think, again, when, you know, people, again, Nancy Pelosi talking about, you know, six million new jobs and wage increases being crumbs. Now, apparently, two billion, two point five billion dollars for coronavirus intervention is crumbs as well. Um, so I think, again, this 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 notion that somehow all roads lead to President Trump, everything that he does is wrong. Let's just talk about the issue um, in a vacuum when it comes to the safety of the American people, when it means to making sure that the well-being of the American people um, is first and foremost on our minds. You know, the, the, if, if I can just say that. Yeah. The political reality, though, is when there is when there is a health crisis, and we're not there yet. But when there is a health crisis, all roads will point to the president, as as in the case with any national crisis. Correct. So the president has to but own it, it and, and be responsible. Point to him right now. I guess no, no, it's too late. And no, he should have gotten on this earlier. In fact, um, the the you know he has not expressed urgency. He thought it would just take care of itself. I'm glad he's speaking later today. Hopefully he will say and do the right things as a result of that. But, you know, he's been criticized not just by Democrats. We've only talked about Democrats thus far. But uh, Senator John Kennedy of Louisiana was highly critical yesterday of his department, uh, Department of Homeland Security Secretary when he was testifying before Congress because he didn't have sufficient answers on this. So it's been bipartisan criticism. The stock market has certainly been a good proxy for where the American people are on this. And so, uh, thankfully, hopefully the president will finally act accordingly. All right, that is Joe Pinion, GOP strategist, Michael Gordon, and Dem strategist. Guys, thanks so much for coming on. I appreciate, uh, appreciate you guys sharing your knowledge on that. Of course, the president will update us on that at 6 o'clock tonight. We'll have